Hello, YouTube. Got all the little pigeons there up here wanting to eat out of that stock salt bag. Boy, I tell you, them pigeons just dig salt. I'm going to have to make a, oh, uh, I don't know, a special little salt giver dealy for them. Well, I haven't done much in at all, as you can tell. I kind of got crap just, just, just tore up. Uh, I hadn't got anything it melted yet. It had been a little raining. I'm not. I hadn't pushed it real hard, uh, but I kind of wanted to get more things ready. Uh, these little ones will certain ones will fit in, let's say buckets, but I didn't have anything to fit these bigger ones. I don't think I need a sprue that big. I just cut i just used what i had i should have cut that one down a little bit probably maybe all of them down a little bit more i just using whatever was there but i have some of these uh this particle board down here that's uh scrap uh, that i saved because it's pretty decent stuff i bought some uh two by fours to make these little uh boxes a guy uh steve i learned this from him i i really apologize buddy steve's srt <laughs> sorry man i forget about everything but i thank you for teaching me this he makes these little boxes out of wood uh that these will fit in and then he has I, i'm just gonna guess different lengths so i'm gonna make something that'll fit the tallest one i have out of that i'll probably make two three of them whatever i have down here to with any luck be able to uh pour everything in one Wop, I guess I could say. Bought some more sand to be able to do that. I got that bu new bucket of mud. I got a new bucket that I can throw the little bucket of mud in there and make a bigger bucket of mud. And uh, I've been making making a few different things. I bought these little things. I'll show you what I did with them. Uh, that's what this this pipe is. This PVC pipe. Uh, we'll lock down this way and I'll show you what I did. Boy, that kind of scares them, doesn't it? Got all my plants watered, uh, cleaned the water, or maybe not cleaned, but put some fresh water in the pond. Uh, I have a drain on it. I need to redo this. I'm gonna do it a little different. Uh, how do I clean this thing? Cause there's frogs and there's all kinds of, there's mosquitoes and mos like a mosquito thing. My buddy Adam bought a, uh, a betta fish or a Chinese fighting fish. And I'd like to get a pair, I just never have done it is i'd like to get a pair a uh, female and a male this is pretty big with lots of little hidden stuff in there uh so that they wouldn't kill each other but they may have babies and they probably eat all the mosquitoes but how i clean this is i just stick my hose in here on this edge and it starts doing a whirlpool and it fills up the water and starts draining out the water over here but i get it swooling and kind of stir up the ookies all over so it gets really cloudy at first and then i take the garden hose and hit just right on this rock and it kind of stops the swirling and keeps just put it pushes the crap out but anyway they get about oh i don't know every other week or maybe a little bit more uh fresh water and i clean it a little bit that way i don't know where the mama chick is she's doing like most excellent but I'll ah, walk this way. It's a little easier. Oh, I got a lot of crap to do out here. Yeah, I don't bust my butt as much as I probably should. I'm about half broken up, and it makes it real hard for me to do things. But I just need it here, now here, there. Here's what I made. Okay, with these little yellow things, they keep breaking. Uh, and this didn't have a gate at all, uh, but I use it to push the leaves down in here from all up here. And so this year I just cut this gate down here, but, uh, that's what I made. This wire is, I think this is inch and a half, no inch and a quarter. It's an inch and a quarter fitting. I was drilled, I don't know, quarter inch, half inch in here. And then I used, I think it was one foot of wire. And just stuck it in here like this. Bent it out. Built it in a V. Now I can, I can, I can still work on it. But 
these can be just tight as all get out and same over there and i can take this out and these will still stay tight and i'll show you the heather main main gate up there in a second or why i really need there's the mess i still got it's killing me guys this is taking me all week though i haven't technically worked on it all week but here's what it it's gonna look like still got to get a hold of this guy it's got a sawmill uh, that was where a crotch was this bottom one down here I reckon I'm just gonna use all for firewood and I may turn it all into firewood but I'm gonna ask him first because uh, he has a sawmill and he just lives I don't know a mile away so he's like right here uh, where he could use that piece right there I mean, it has that little arm there but it'd just be a, a knot I guess maybe I'm not a saw guy and then, of course, that trunk right there. Uh, as you can see, it got a little bend, so I don't know if a guy would cut that and that to get, I don't know. I'm gonna have him come look at it and maybe he'd even be able to use that, but I think this is gonna be mine. This is gonna be firewood and it'll be, I don't know, that's quite a lot of wood. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Uh, do a little trading with him. So my one thought was, I know this is going to be a stupid video, but my one thought was uh, cutting this out too. So cut it out right there and then cut it out wherever it would work best for the log. And then maybe having him saw this up for me. So I'd have flat boards of this funny crotchy looking thing. I don't know what it'd look like, but you know that. And... Well, I don't know what else. For all I know, I just might cut it all up. But, you know, it's not a bad little, bad little tree. Here's going to be the gate. <laughs> or, you know, the gate that I used with the four-wheeler. I got them up to... I haven't fixed the wire part gate of it because... I'm cutting down that tree and no need to do it yet but as you can see i kind of tightened this one up and this one up uh it's a perimeter it goes all the way around but with it before as you can see it this this little ear broke off that one the opposite ear broke off on that one and now it won't break off and the other nifty thing kind of how i uh, Oh, I don't know. I don't need to show you how I did it before, but there's my handle. It has little springs on it. And you can see I really overstretched the first one by doing something, but it still works. And now I can just hook my little gate up with a handle. And this side will stay straight. I don't, it won't, it can't never break here. So what would happen is the little yellow thing would break off and then uh, it would lose tension when I let off the, the handle I could show you on Cassie's where I started but this will work a lot better uh, if I need to you know make any kind of other adjustment like if I get a goat or something uh, all I gotta do is put in another you know another one of these things or I think but anyway I'm sure wouldn't mind getting one of those uh, pair of those little fish that's what I've been up to Really, a whole lot to nothing. It's probably, I don't know how hot it is. I hear it's so hot that it, I don't know. I'm a wuss. Tomatoes, they're not doing real great. I mean, they're not real bad. I'm getting a few. These are the baby tomatoes and this is a bigger tomato. There's a couple of watermelon over here. They're not doing very good. Or not too bad at least. I'm really kind of fibbing a little bit. They're not that old. Starting with seed month ago maybe there's chicken dirt and chicken poop in there there's our buddy surprised he hasn't chased us down or us me that's all I got for vegetables some peppers that's it berries aren't going to do too bad chickens are all having fun wish I could find the the mama, she's running around here somewhere. She's doing like 
excellent. Just excellent. I don't know, this probably isn't. I'm definitely not making anything, but I follow a few guys that just set, talk about their daily lives, so maybe it won't be too bad. Look at this mushroom. Look at this big old thing. I wonder if I can't get down in there. Look at that sucker. I don't know if you can see it. There's some more back there. Don't know what that is. Well, guys, I can't say I'll promise that I'll get some uh, worthy content out. Because uh, I sure don't want to be made a liar, but hopefully this next week, I don't know, maybe even today. I've been, I said, pretty busy. And I wouldn't mind this this melting stuff to, let's say, make me some money, but it, at the same time, I still got to do other junk, too. There we go. Wonderful shed, just spick and span. I mean, wow. Can't get any cleaner than this. <laughs> that is it. Oh, got something else I made. I didn't really make make, but I needed some grease uh, the other day to go on something. And I normally just go over to my grease gun or I go to my wheel bearing grease tub and dump my finger in there and use what little I did while I was cleaning up the bench and there was this uh uh crap glue and I just, it, the glue had hardened up so i took the glue out and put grease in it and now i can i gotta, I gotta i'm not i shouldn't do it but you just squeeze it squeeze it the little, the little grease comes right out the oh i shouldn't do it Hold on, maybe I can. This is probably gonna make me a liar. I already tried it. There's it. I'm barely trying to squeeze it because I don't want a lot out of it. Now I have grease that I technically I could use it instead of my finger. You know? So I don't know. That's a bad yet though. I'm still working on this this one here. I don't know if I'll be able to get it to work or not. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I'd made two, but that one I'd went through real fast. And I don't know how it got bigger on me. It made it bigger for some reason. I'll have to look into that too, but I wanted to get made and started making another thing. <laughs> I don't have any projects I start and not finish, that's for sure. Everything I do. A friend of my wife friend of my wife's is a Dr. Pepper fanatic, I guess. And so I found this picture just on the internet. And I thought, hey, I'm going to try to make her a clock. But the trademark thing didn't come out. The drink didn't come out very well. So I think I might just take that off and just say Dr. Pepper, King of Beverages. And I'm using this. Found this in the trash one day. This here clock. That will go down in there. This will be metal. I think I figured I'd uh, spray paint it black, make this look like chrome. So, well, I'll put a little edge around it all. But that's going to be, I'm going to make her a clock. Uh, it's been kind of a learning experience. I did this on the back. As you can see, it's, you know, I'll have to trim it out. I should have maybe trimmed it before I did some of this. It might make it too hard, but I'm just learning as I go. And I didn't do real good on my free-handed doer hickey. This is me trying to figure out how to do a hickey it, but... That's the back, and I don't know if I needed this or not, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this, and, and I kind of did that, and then I carved that out because I kind of changed my mind a little later. But you shouldn't see it. I'm gonna glue that on that, so that that way the nail or screw will have a place to go, and it is high enough that when I put this down, it, it balances this out so i'm hoping that when it goes again the wall you know it won't go like this because the 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 clock is too much or it won't want to fall like this and it should set fairly flat if it works you know this here right here is like oh my gosh not very thick at all so i'm hopefully when i put this edge around here it'll give me enough uh i don't know what you want to call it enough area that the metal will help force this out i could kind of see this 
not becoming solid somehow because you know, it's you know it's real thin i don't know i might have to try to feed it to you know like you know glue something on here to feed it to but i can always make another one what do you think of that i think that'll be kind of nifty i still gotta clean it up but uh yeah i don't know anyway guys that's all i got for you nothing don't have oh hey here's something else i made this has been about i don't know how long i made, I made this not it's been weeks i made this little thing i saw it in a, one of these books <laughs> hey you're going damn you're a damn story bad story tell saw them little books they're all master mechanic popular science those are really cool books or magazines they have Oh my God, so much cool stuff in there. Made a, made a, oh, never mind. It doesn't matter, but they have a lot of stuff in there. And I made this in there. Uh, it's like the 50s, probably. I didn't look at the age of the clock or the magazine. There's a guy in there and he's going, oh, I'm pulling out. They have stories and everything as they're doing it, you know. So, I mean, it's kind of cool. You get to hear somebody like me making a story. This is, that is 1950s YouTube they drew it on paper and typed out a story and now we just use videos but this dude made this thing and this is what I had uh, uh, I think this is two and seven eighths inside I don't know now I guess it don't really matter it's just old pipe out old pipeline pipe that I scavenged uh, but uh I don't know how big or I don't know how wide it is now I don't know none of it, but I cut a piece off. I think that's five-ish, I don't know, five-ish inches. And then I think this might be like two and a half, maybe, I don't know. Um, and then what you do, now comes you're going, yeah, I'm looking at this crap. What the heck's it do, man? You turn around uh, and I made it. Okay, let me tell you what I do. You turn around and stick a chain through it. Stick a chain through it. And then you, well, I don't know if you do it against that tree because that's pretty darn big, but I suppose you could. I don't know. That's why I made this so darn strong. This should do got no, this should go nowhere. I mean, this is some strong crap. Uh, it's heavy. But you wrap your chain around your bushes or your tree or whatever. And so you put your chain through here, wrap it around like that, come back through here like this, and you hook your hook on the on the daily like that and then as you start pulling your chain it starts sucking it up and then sucks it up into this and you, you can pull on it now i'd imagine this might be better of course they tell you why they do things you can wrap your chain around and then when the tree starts to fold over the chain wants to slide off and then when you put it like through this i guess this from going through here and the chain going through this like will cut into the tree and stop it from but I don't know, sliding over the tree or the bush. So I made that to try to go in the back and uh, maybe it'd probably be harder to pull up the tree than just cut it down, but I wouldn't have to put any killer or anything on it. I'd just be able to rip the whole thing out, but I don't know, made it big enough that anybody would be able to use it. And that's, that's basically it, guys. I decided a big old mess. Try and stay alive. Oh, here. Remember the license plate? I got this. I'm all over the place. Right? Ouch. Ain't I? Remember the license plate I got at the junk uh, flea market thing? There's, there's how it turned out. I don't know. I can see, see it real well. I mean, it's on all freehand. You can see my little, my crazy trying to make it look pretty. But that's, I think it looks better than rusted. I like it. And I guess that's all that matters, right? But anyway, uh, that's all I got. That's all I got. I said I had other things I've been trying to do, and uh, it's been hot and hard work, and I don't know. All I got to say is thanks, everybody, for being watching. Uh, thank you for being subscribing. I mean, we almost are about close to 400 now i mean holy mackerel i can't wait till i hit to 500 that's like halfway between 
like the main goal is to get to, to a thousand, you know, so you can start to monetize your stuff. Not that that's like my main goal, but it is, it'll be pretty cool to say, Hey, somebody watched a video and I get paid for it. Um, uh, I don't know. Hopefully I'll be, I just, sorry. I'm just rambling. I'm just rambling. But anyway, thanks you very much for getting me to where I am so far. Uh, you know, it's pretty nifty to say, wow, there's like 400 people almost that say, you know, I like some of the goofy junk this guy does. So I want to thank you all for subscribing. Uh, I know there's quite a few that are not in this country. I'm in America. There's a few that's not in this country. And uh, it's really neat that, you know, somebody out of the country is looking at something and, you know, shows that we're all you know, same people, basically, you know, we're all crazy, <laughs> we're all, all these good things, I don't know, sorry, I didn't mean to call y'all crazy, but we're all crazy, anyway, love y'all, thanks for watching, and, uh, I'll catch you on the flip side, subscribe! Obviously, I didn't show how to make the whole darn thing, but I made homemade bread, uh, this is be, or a beef stroganoff pizza it's got meat and onions with uh uh that uh, just uh, here's my pizza <laughs> here's what it looks like done got those little eatable mozzarella sticks inside this crust with salt and well, i put a little oil on salt and garlic on it but that's what it looks like so far there's what it looks like squishy cheese yeah.